Hello and welcome again. Your journey to learn Playwright is finally here. Let's start with creating an empty project. I have already created a directory on my desktop called Udemy Playwright, but feel free to name it whatever you like. The name of the directory does not matter, but you cannot name it just Playwright. Otherwise, you might get problems with installing Playwright package into the directory with the same name. So, step number one is to call npm init to create root of the project. So, open your terminal and type npm init. And now we need to fill some questions. So, the package name, we can leave it like this. So, press enter to submit default value. Version, again, just press enter. Description, here we can write something like automated software testing with Playwright. But again, feel free to write whatever description you want. Entry point, we can leave it blank. Test commands, again, leave it blank for now. No git repository for now. Keywords, you can add some keywords if you want, but again, it's completely optional. Author, here you can write your name. License, again, leave it blank. And if everything is okay, just type yes and hit enter. And as you can see, we have a package JSON created here. This package JSON contains information about your project, your script, and also a list of installed node packages. So let's start with installing first one, and that is Prettier. But this step is optional, you don't need to use it, but I can recommend you to use Prettier for automated code formatting to keep your code clean and organized. So let's type npm install Prettier and hit enter. And now we just need to wait until everything is downloaded and installed. And as you can see, we have our first dependency, which is pretty here, visible here. Also, a node modules folder appeared here, which contains all the node installed packages. So how to enable pretty here? We just need to create a new file in the root of the project called .prettier.rc. And if you are using VS icons, you should also see this nice pretty icon here. And I'm gonna set just two rules. So the first one is semi, and I wanna give it a false value because I don't want to use semicolons. And the second one is single quotes, and I want to change it to true because I prefer single quotes over the double quotes. But again, you can choose your own settings if you want, or you don't need to use it at all. And in that case, you don't need to worry about pretty at all. Now we're finally going to install Playwright test package and make sure you install Playwright slash test and not Playwright itself because Playwright alone is a just general library for browser automation used for everything from web scraping to automating scripts but the complete Playwright test package is called at Playwright slash test and this contains test runner, assertion library and all utilities pre-built for us to focus purely on automated testing. So let's type npm install at playwright slash test like this and hit enter and again now just wait until everything is downloaded and installed for us it might take some time it really depends on your internet connection and speed So my internet is not very fast, as you can see, so please be a little bit patient. And I guess we are almost there. Yes, everything is installed. So now let's go to the package JSON again. And you should see in the dependencies, the playwright slash test and your version. And the final step is to call mpx playwright install and this will install all the browsers for playwright testing. So into terminal type mpx playwright install and hit enter. And now as you can see the playwright is downloading the Chromium which contains a little over 100 megabytes which is a lot. Finally, everything is downloaded and as you can see, we have Chromium, Firefox and WebKit downloaded for Playwright.
and we are ready to start writing our first playwright test in the next video.